is up my beautiful marmars and welcome back to my kitchen today we are gonna make something i can eat jello pineapple let's get to it first you want to boil some water and then get your unflavored gelatin and go ahead and throw that in there like that a lot of it yes 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 go ahead and mix that bad boy all around and just let it dissolve if it has to unflavored gelatin is very stubborn takes some time to dissolve sometimes as for the pineapple you just gotta feel it up you know feel it and then it. Okay, cool. So now that we got two pieces, uh, gently across here. So going around, just kind of drawing out, you know, what I want to cut out of it. Keep going at this until I get all the pineapple in there. There's lots of juices we can actually keep for the jello later. There we go. Very stubborn. This root part especially is stubborn. So, look at all that juice though. You want, definitely want to save this juice. I want to add some pineapple juice to this. Pineapple juice in. A little bit of refreshingness. I'm gonna add some lemon jello. Put the lemon jello in. One. Pour your lemon pineapple jello. Ooh, I'm missing. This does not have an easy pour. Lemon pineapple jello. Just bam right into the bottom of the pineapple. It's so messy right now. Oh my gosh, so messy. Voila! Pieces of pineapple that you have and just place it on the tops so you get some more pineapple chunks in there. I'm gonna throw some more in here and here. And then bam, right there. Oh wow, it doesn't fit. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I just brought them their own personal plates. There we go. Woo. All right, it has been eight hours and something interesting has happened. Come on, come over here. All right, guys, take a look at my pineapple jo What the? What the heck? It didn't solidify. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just kidding. This is actually my second time doing it. Um, the first time I did it, I thought I did something incorrect. I was like, what is going on? Why is, like, am I not the Jello King anymore? Like, what's going on, guys? Like, I put Jello in here, and it just didn't solidify. And it looks like a soup still, you know? Like, both slices are like that. Even this one right here is still sliced. Like, it's still all, like, juicy and stuff. So I'm like, this is my second attempt. I didn't even film my second attempt because I thought I just messed up on the Jello. And I was like, oh, okay. So put it back in. Did some research and found out that pineapple contains an enzyme called bromelain bromelain i think that's how you say it. bromelain which breaks the gelatin which is a protein remember you guys are always complaining about you know animal bones and stuff all this protein in there there's protein that needs it to solidify so all this protein is broken down by the bromelains and it turns into just this it's just not solidified it's just liquid still so yeah just the soup this is just all amino acids sugar and flavoring and colored hmm okay well we're still gonna do some cinematics though right <laughs> back here you know I got my fail pineapple jello here I feel like this is why there's so many pineapple jello comments is because you guys knew that it wouldn't work so I would have to fail and drink pineapple jello juice so this is a uh, pineapple juice lemon pineapple all that good stuff in it let's uh let's give it a good taste test it actually tasted so gross I don't know if it's like all the- Ooh, the aftertaste is really good though. The first taste just tastes like- Like, unflavored gelatin does not have a really appealing smell when you're boiling it. So, that tasted like what unflavored gelatin smells like, if that makes any sense. It just tasted like gross when I first put it in my mouth. I guess I'll try it again. Yeah, nope, that's not tasty. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. I barely taste the lemon. Pineapple's really good. Mmm. Mm, the pineapple is delicious. The aftertaste is amazing. Like your mouth is so refreshed at the end of this. It's like so good, but the first taste is not, not the business. So now you know to never make pineapple jello. And if you do, just use only the flavoring. Don't use actual pieces of pineapple in your pineapple jello because it's literally impossible. You could, 
I don't know how else you could do it. Maybe if you cut it into really tiny pieces, but I think the enzymes would still get to the protein and eat and break it down. So I don't know, guys. This is like my first Jello real fail. Like, look at that. Thank you guys so much for watching this pineapple Jello fail video, but it tasted good at the end. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. Remember, I post a video every single day. I'll see you then. Peace. What is up my beautiful Marmars and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna make something I can eat. You know what I've always wanted? A giant taco. Today we're gonna make that. Let's get to it. Let's go, let's go. First off, we're gonna set the oven to about 400 degrees. Yes. You also wanna throw in this giant pizza stove. We're gonna make the tortilla from scratch. So you only need about four cups of flour. One teaspoon of salt.